Last night's annual Vipers 2023 season launch coincided with a number of significant announcements, the Vipers Soft Launch New South Wales Cup bid presentation and Vipers website. Apart from the main event, patron and NCD Governor Poe Spako, in the presence of PNG RFL CEO Stanley Hondina and major team sponsors, made a bold announcement of the Vipers' next pathway, and that is to have a team in the New South Wales Cup competition sooner or later. Governor Paco passionately spoke about his love for the game, the team and the aspirations of our young boys and girls to advance and make a name for themselves playing at an elite level either in Australia or the UK. He said Vipers being the foundation club in PNG's National Rugby League competition, formerly the Intercity competition, has done it before when it joined the Queensland Cup for two seasons in 1996 and 1997 before the PNG Hunters joined in 2014. Before making the soft launch of the New South Wales Cup bid presentation last night to PNG RFL CEO, Governor has this to say. It's part of our equation. Tonight, CEO, you want to give you this uh, letter for PNG RFL to consider and support we are going to bid to join the New South Wales Cup. <laughs> we must keep on lifting the game and keep on creating opportunities for our young people. Me, I don't want to, them to just stay and remain playing in you know, the, this competition, Digital Cup or whatever cup. Here yeah, we appreciate it. It's a great platform, but our young men and young women too for the future, they must have a pathway to go to wherever they can go. Governor revealed while initial discussions have started, it's a long process with specific requirements and compliances that have to be met. Back on the home front, Pakop said Vipers represents everybody in the city and challenges everyone to rally behind the team and be proud of the Vipers brand that is always setting benchmarks for the country. It's been 10 long years since the team last won the cup in 2013. He again reminded players to play hard, tough, but play clean as good ambassadors of the nation's capital. Governor has also committed 1.5 million kina towards the team, which is a big boost for their campaign this year. Terry Longwood, TV One Sports.